Good greetings, Rusty Dog here, and welcome to Microsoft Flight Sim. Uh, in this video, then, I'm just going to run over my graphic settings. <coughs> um, I know of at least one person who's asked me to do this. Uh, so, let's get on that. I'm also going to show you uh, the settings I'm using in NVIDIA Control Panel. And um, I get uh, 48 frames per second. Uh, with the Phoenix A320 at JFK using midday and broken clouds as a preset <coughs> and uh, I think that's not too bad uh, my setup I is uh, my CPU is a AMD Ryzen 9 5900X my GPU is a NVIDIA 2080 Super 16 megabytes of RAM and in fact or is it 32? I might have 32 <laughs> I can't even remember the video description will uh, give you a complete rundown of my my hardware okay so let's get right into it let's go into options now I'm just going to flick through these rather quickly uh, and if you want to stop at any point uh, there's always the pause button uh, which <coughs> is probably better that you have control of that than me. So let's go into general options and here are the graphics. I, I run full screen uh, at 2K or 2560 by 1440. I'm using NVIDIA DLSS. I'm experiencing no blurring of any note. Uh, I find that the quality setting and the balance setting doesn't really change that much in terms of frame rates for me. So I'm running on quality. Uh, and then as you can see I'm running at 50% monitor refresh rate which gives me my monitor refresh rate is uh, 60 Hertz so I'm running at a capped it's capped at around 30 frames per second might not be exact uh, but it's going to be at least around there uh, and I'm happy with that it's super smooth that's uh, running at that rate <coughs> um, I, I could push it up here but I don't really need to uh, I, I need to save some GPU overhead for my OBS, for my streaming and everything. So the fact that I'm able to live stream uh, the Phoenix A320 at JFK with some pretty good smoothness, good frame rates, more or less, uh, is is pretty good for me, I think. So if you've got a, any hardware that's way above mine, um, you should be good to go on this. I'm running DX11. Uh, in some cases, DX12 has proven to be the equal of DX11 in terms of frame rates. In other cases, I have noticed significant drops on DX12. Uh, and so in instead of using that, I prefer just to stick to DX11. And yeah, and my AMD fidelity sharpening just at 100. VSync is on to prevent graphics tearing. And now let's dive down here. So as you can see, the first five settings immediately on ultra setting. Object level of detail increased to 150. Uh, and now I'll just run through these quickly. We've got high, high, 16 times. So you can see on the screen, you don't need me to go through them. I can probably even make further adjustments upwards on these and still maintain a similar frame rate. I haven't really experimented that much. Uh, but I'm just going to scroll further up now, so you've got more settings. I choose to run without bloom, depth of field, and motion blur, and lens correction. Um, lens correction might be something I could I could put on. Uh, it just um, stops any distortion from lenses. It might be something I, I might want to put actually. I might have a mess with that some at some point. Bloom uh, is okay for if you want bloom off. You know lights at night time and stuff like that or maybe uh, sunshine off the wings I'm not too fussed about it but it's it doesn't have low medium high it's just off and on uh, so I'm not quite sure whether adding this will detract from my frame rates too much I really don't know same with depth of field it's not something I really need in this game so did I say game I do apologize <laughs> in this sim 
uh, and motion blur li likewise. You know, it's we're not really fast moving. You know, it's not like a big fast moving adventure game. So, yeah, I choose to have these off. My glass cockpit refresh rate is set to medium, uh, uh, but my other one, referring to the cockpit glass, uh, I have it on ultra, uh, which is here windshield effects, and that is because ultra is the only setting uh, to have it on if you want reflections on the glass of your dials and dashboard and that kind of stuff. <laughs> Nothing inside the plane will reflect onto the glass in anything other than ultra. And I, prefer, and I, and I like the look of it, especially at night. And so I have that on ultra. So that's my graphic settings. Just run them down again. And then, um, something else here, traffic. So this is the traffic that I have, traffic settings that I have in the game. I use real time online. Uh, I don't want to see nameplates. My densities here, uh, earlier today, they were all set at 100. I've just put them down to 90. I haven't been back into the game since I put them at, into the sim, sorry, since I set them at 90. Uh, and I just popped them down for no apparent reason, other than to see if there was any significant change. Uh, but bringing them down by 10%, I don't think is going to really do anything. Uh, similarly, I don't think increasing them by 10% is going to make me see too much of a difference either. But we'll see. And then I have some rather odd numbers here. For leisure boats and road vehicles, I could just have gone with 60, 50, 70 and 90 there if I'd wanted to. Uh, road vehicles, again, you know, they're all over the place really. They, go, they climb up walls. How many do you really need to see? Leisure boats... I could possibly increase that along with ships and ferries. Uh, in fact, I think I will. I think I'm going to put that up at 70. And I'm going to put that up to 80. Why not? That can go down to 50. There you go. That makes it easier, doesn't it? Uh, and then down here, we've got generic aircraft models. Uh, I don't have multi I don't really play multiplayer, so I've got that off. You may want to put that on if you do play multiplayer. Same with this option here. And then traffic variety. Why is that on high? Hmm. This adjusts the amount of different aircraft models used in randomly generated. Higher values may affect performance. Okay, I could probably go ultra there without seeing too much of a difference. But it, I've obviously got it on high there. So I'm going to leave it there. And I think that's all we need in terms of grab things that affect graphics and stuff um yeah i think that's pretty much it really okay i'm going to apply my changes now then let's just dip into nvidia control panel and there the only two changes that i've made everything else is using the global setting uh it's exactly the same like in my global settings i have this set. You may want to just take a look at those. I'm not sure whether this uh, complies with the defaults or not, or whether I've changed something here. It, it might be the case that if I change something, it changes to bold text like it does on the program settings. I suppose if I change triple buffering to on, we'd find out. Yeah, no, it doesn't go bold. Well, I had triple buffering set to off. You can always tell which is the default because it has the NVIDIA logo next to it. Um, so these are all standard settings. And then in my flight sim settings, the only two that I have changed is power management mode, which I have it to prefer maximum performance. Um, I think ideally you do want to do that really. And the vertical sync is set to fast. Now bear in mind, this is set at driver level. So this will override the V-Sync on inside of Flight Sim. So regardless of what you have V-Sync set to in Flight Sim, 
this is driver level, so it will override any setting. And I have it set to fast. Um, I haven't noticed any graphics tearing, and it's good to go there. Okay, that's pretty much it then. That's all my graphics settings. Uh, if you're having any trouble with your frame rates and whatnot, I hope uh, some of this has helped, maybe helped you out. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And I will try my very best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.